Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new progress video. I've been making pretty steady progress on this account for the last couple of months. And recently I've been focusing on a couple of buyable skills. Uh, so recently I decided, hey, let's do it the quick way. And I invested a ton of money into the precursor items for the quickest training methods. So we're going to be getting a couple of 99s very soon. Another big goal that I'm trying to hit today is 2000 total level. I know it's not a lot for some people, but I've been working towards it for a while, and I'm really excited that I am very close now. Anyway guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, I always appreciate it. If you leave it a like, always helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much, and let's get started. Now one skill I haven't leveled up much, considering how quick it is to train, is actually fire making, and we're just about to hit a pretty nice milestone level of level 80 fire making. Now I initially did this just for a video requirement, but we can now burn magic power logs, but furthermore that also gave us a ton of really easy uh, total levels, uh, giving us an extra 5. Now I'm going to open up all of the loot crates here. This is from roughly uh, 4 or 5 hours of Winter Dot. No luck so far, oh wait there we go, this is our very first piece of warm clothing. There are the Pyromancer gloves. Can we get anything else in the last couple crates? Looks like not. I'm not sure if I got a bit unlucky on that, but we ended up getting a Bruma Torch and the Warm Gloves. And that is it from 5 Hours of Winter Tot. Oh man, we got a huge milestone thieving level coming in. I can't believe we actually got that much thieving done over the last month. Uh, that's by far uh, my highest non viable skill, I think. Well, combat, but there is level 90 thieving. That's really exciting because thieving has historically been one of my least favorite skills, but we found a way to train it. And now we only have one more level to go until we can train it with Pyramid Plunder, uh, which is also a fairly palatable way to train it. Uh, so that's exciting. We'll probably need to get Thieving as a 99 pretty soon here. And look at all that loot. Oh my god. 3.7 mil from doing this for around 15 hours. Now another skill that could easily be trained for some total levels is actually Smithing. Uh, we just hit level 74, but I decided instead of doing... Um, blast Furnace, like Gold Bars or whatever, I just wanted to do something a bit more AFK. And that would be making Plate Bodies, Mithril Plate Bodies at this level. And, but we'll move on to Adamant Plate Bodies at level 88. We're doing it in Prif Dennis. The Anvil in Prif Dennis is the closest one to a bank. Alright, there's level 75 Smithing. Um, we're getting about 200k per hour uh, doing it this way. Undoubtedly, I'll probably do some Gold Bars to get to 99, as it is about twice as quick. There is level 77 smithy and made a big dent in it already. But after doing this for a bit, I would recommend this training method is not bad and really relaxed. Now every once in a while my friend and I like to do a Zami run and uh, well we've gotten pretty lucky I'd say so far. We've gotten one Zami spear, a couple steam battle staves, uh, I've gotten a ton of elite clues. Definitely my favorite God Wars boss recently, Zami spears have gone up a lot in the last couple of months, I mean a lot of things have. But they're very common from the boss at only 1 of the 128, and they're worth around 15 mil now or something, or even maybe more. Well, speaking of spears, there is another one. Uh, it'd be nice to get one in my name eventually so I could uh, fill up my collection log. But anyway, who cares? That is another 8 mil in the bank from that. Okay, it looks like the Zami Spear is worth around 8 mil, 7.7 mil. Not bad, I'll take that. Thank you very much, sir. Now I have been very slowly picking away at level 99 crafting for like 3 months now, but I think I just want to get it done with. The skill cape is really useful and it really won't take that much time. We have the funds to do it, we just set level 93 crafting. For, at 400k per hour it's only going to take us another 15 hours or so, uh, so let's just go ahead and get that done with. There is 94 crafting. 800,000 experience to a level now, oh my god. There we go guys, 95 crafting, only 4 more levels to go, we can now make a Zenite bracelet. My god, that is a high level item. Rest in peace Iron Man, that sounds terrible. Okay, this is going to be our third to last crafting level ever, that is going to be 96 crafting. I think we're going to have to get at least a million experience to our next level. Yep, 1,007,000 experience. That's going to take a couple hours, but I mean, crafting so quick. Now, there is level 97 crafting, two more levels to go. We're trying to keep our locations a bit mixed up. 1.1 million experience left. 
Well, that took quite some time, but here's going to be our second to last crafting level ever. 98 crafting here at the Ferox Enclave. You can now make this Xenite Amulet. Oh my god, there's still a Xenite requirement at this level. That is kind of insane, holy crap. 1.2 million experience left, let's just get it done and get us that cape. Here we are guys, we're in front of the crafting guild, I thought it was thematic enough. Uh, I thought about doing something cutesy with some other piece of crafting equipment, but you know what, we've been doing black leather bodies for the last couple months now, so you know what, I think we should finish it off with them. I wouldn't really want to upset the black dragon hide spirits at this point, so we're going to stay consistent and do the same thing. Uh, now I spent quite a bit of money on black dragon hide for months now. We've bought multiple buy-in limits. We did them all the way from 84, so as long as we could for the most part. But without further ado, let's just go ahead and do it. There we go, guys. That is going to be level 99 crafting. That is a really exciting. Look at those fireworks. Nice to see those. Now, 99 crafting is a really good one to get done with early. It has arguably one of the best skill cape perks, and that is that you can go into the crafting guild without a brown apron on. Now, that's definitely not it. The main perk is that you can teleport to the crafting guild, uh, which is the closest free teleport to a bank. Let's go ahead and grab our cape here quickly though. There we go guys, looking pretty swanky. Looking like a true crafter. Okay, so there's a couple of perks here. Uh, one is that you can boost your crafting level a bit, but the best perk of course is being able to teleport right here, which is extremely close to a bank, closer than Castle Wars, closer than uh, the Ferox Enclave, closer than the Games Necklace, it is the best one. Now, of course, here we have to have a quick look at the emote. What are we crafting? It's got to be something really cool. Um, <laughs> it's the cats or something. What the hell? Now, what was the total cost of doing Black Dead bodies all the way to 99? Well, it was kind of expensive. First up here, the GP per XP for me was around 7, although you could get it a bit lower if you were more patient buying and selling the bodies. 84 to 99 crafting is around 10 million experience. Uh, which means I made 39,000 black dehyde bodies, uh, which equates to 117,000 black dehydes. That is around 10 times the buy-in limit and an investment of around 70 million GP. I don't really regret doing it because it did speed things up a lot. But that said, in the end, air battle stabs would have been way cheaper and only around 25% slower. Uh, so I think for most players, battle staves are probably going to be the way to go. But if you're really looking to do it as quickly as possible, obviously, black dehydes are a good option. Now we have another really exciting milestone coming in here. One I've been working towards for a long time. And that is 2000 total level, which we're just about to hit here with this next woodcutting level. Kind of why I've been skill hopping a lot this week. Um, but that's going to be it. Now we have access to... Uh, the 2k total worlds which on its own is actually pretty useful just goes to show that hard work does eventually pay off at the beginning of the year we were at like 1600 total level uh, so a lot of gains have been made this year yes in 2021 i'm going to be crying every day because i left runecrafting mining agility fishing all those to last but let's not worry about that yet so i've made another really big investment on my flipping account but this time it's actually for my main account I've invested in a ton of uh, dart tips, both Adamant and Dragon. Now I'm planning on doing dart tips all the way to 99 fletching, and that's going to be probably my next viable skill. Now it is definitely very expensive. That said, Adamant darts aren't actually that much. It's just, I don't know, making these darts is kind of a pain in the ass. I'm not going to be able to do it for a ton of time at once. But yeah, that was about a 500 mil investment. On my flipping account yes i will get the majority of that back but that said the gp per xp is still very high at around 8 gp per xp for adamant darts and 21 for dragon darts but i decided recently that well i made 200 mil on an investment let's just invest some of that right back into my account and blitz through a really easy buyable skill oh yay a pagasian crystal woo fortunately it's worth absolutely fucking nothing but you know what, it's a drop, we'll add it to the collection log. And you know what, Cerberus is probably a collection log I would love to finish. Uh, we're getting close to a thousand kills, if not a bit more. So you know what, if we got the Hell Puppy, that'd be pretty cool. Oh, that's uh, way better, I'll take that. There's our second Primordial Crystal. Now, now I'd say we're definitely lucky. Oh my god, I'm not even close to a thousand, what am I talking about? 
Primordial is worth just a tad over 30 million GP. We've gotten two of them in 675 kills. That is definitely above average. Pretty stoked with that. Okay, let's see how much we can get for the Primordial Crystal. We'll dump it in here for uh, 30.5 mil. Perfect. There we go. Almost 31 mil actually on that one. That's fucking awesome. Uh, we do need to buy uh, one piece of armor back. Yes, I know I have had tacits in the past, but it's just the item I sell off first if I need to afford, for example, the rapier. But yeah, it definitely helps us pay for all of that crafting. Hey, there we go, guys. Another elite clue. That means we got a couple masters to complete. Well, there we go, guys. We got it done. That's uh, going to be master number... Oh, God. <laughs> it's pretty disappointing. Not the worst, but 300k, I think, is just so pitifully average for a master clue. So my strategy going forward for dart tips is just to do at least... 20,000 a day. That only takes about 10-15 minutes and it doesn't really hurt my arms too much at that point. Uh, yes, I could do it on my phone and I probably will do a bit of it, but I feel like it's not as easy as it used to be. And using the double click method on desktop isn't bad either. I'm gonna kind of swap back and forth. My phone is kind of a piece of crap so uh, the recording on it isn't ideal, but we'll get it done. Anyway guys, that is going to be it for today. I know we still have a couple of Fletcher levels to go. I thought the montage music would do it, but <laughs> psych I do still have tendonitis. So we're going to be working on that for a couple more days, but it really shouldn't take long. We're just going to go to 95 with Adam and Darts, and then from there we're going to go Dragon all the way to max. Our total level is now up to 2010. We got another 99 under our belt, and a bunch of others that are now within reach. Once again, really excited with how this account is going. I hope you guys are enjoying the occasional sporadic account progress. We're probably going to be doing this until all of the quicker skills are maxed. And then we're going to be digging in and hopefully getting this all done maybe in 2021. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now before I go here, I want to give a massive thank you to Heathenlock Games who just subscribed my Dragon Tier over on YouTube. Joining Tiz Talk Bunny. Revolver Ocelot, and Kush Patel. You guys are awesome, thank you so much. Also a massive thank you to Base Titch, Nathan Ashworth, and Double Talk for subscribing at the Runite tier. Thank you for making the dream possible, guys. I really appreciate your support. If you guys are looking for another way to support the channel, becoming a YouTube member is an awesome way to do so. Uh, you'll get recognized in my videos, get access to a custom membership Discord role, and a few other awesome perks. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.